everybody, E here. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we're talking about a book that hit my radar because of the channel, massive channel. He's got like 10 times, no joke, 10 times the subscribers I do. He doesn't need a shout out, I'm gonna give him a shout out anyways. The, uh, I'll, I'll leave a link down there in the doobly-doo also, but it's better than food. The dude who does those reviews, he focuses more on translated and literary fiction, that kind of thing. And I became a big fan of the aesthetic of his channel. It's very crisp and clean, and it just it fits the tone of him. Um, I also like his sense of humor. I like the way he reviews books. He does deep dives. He talks about the authors, all that stuff. So definitely check him out. But today, we are talking about one... No One and 100,000 by Luigi Perendillo. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't think it's Perendello. It might be. I don't know. Um, but this book, the, the whole reason I wanted to read it, I'm going to go ahead and set it down. The whole reason I wanted to read it um, is in, I don't want to talk about my writing too much, but one of the things that I focus on in my writing is how everybody's realities are different. Of course you have certain facts of the world. The sun is the sun, the moon is the moon, that kind of thing. But you still have those people who think that the earth is flat or any number of wacky ideas. But the <laughs> the the coolest part about it, the reason why I wanted to read this, I'm trying to get my words straight here, is because the book is about the book opens up the very first page a man is talking to his wife and she mentions that his nose is crooked and this literally drives this man into madness um, that he had never realized his entire life that his nose was just a tiny bit crooked he had never realized and he starts going down this rabbit hole of how no one is the same to everyone else not even you to yourself. How you see yourself is not the same how Tom, Dick, and Harry see you. That it's completely different from person to person, and that concept alone drew me in. Now, for those of you who are triggered by people writing in books, please look away. I made all different kinds of notes, most of them having to do with page numbers, um, just quotes in the book. I'm not going to share any of those quotes because I want you to actually go out and read the book for yourself. Um, it's a very short book. It's about 220 pages, I believe, um, but I took my sweet time with it. I did about 20 to 30 pages a day, and I really enjoyed reading it that slowly. I would suggest that you read it that slowly also, unless you're one of those people who can speed read and just content and absorb everything. I know some of you are like that, some of you are not. With me, if I read something fast, I usually forget what I read on the last page before I get to the next page. And if that's a thriller, that's fine. You know, as long as you have a vague idea of what's going on. But with a book like this, this book is very cerebral. Um, there's a lot of stuff where he is talking to himself and it is not entirely... Uh, it's not entirely obvious that that's what he's doing. There's some second person narrative in here basically what's happening is he's talking to himself he's not talking to the reader he's talking to himself because he ends up fragmenting uh i guess that is the best way to put it um i also i am not going to do this book justice with my review you really do need to go check out better than foods review of this book but i just want to tell you why i enjoyed it so much um there are so many different ways that he brings this one idea like i said Right off the bat, the very first page tells you what the book is about, and you would think after a certain amount of time that it might get a little bit old reading about this concept over and over and over again. But how he changes how this affects his life and how it has driven him into madness, and the idea that he knows, well, part of him knows, that he is, he has gone crazy because of this. It's almost like trying to trying to wrap your mind around the enormity of the universe because there's seven billion people on this planet and if you meet every single last one of those people there's seven billion different versions of you floating around well seven billion and one if you want to count yourself um that that concept alone is nailed throughout the book it is absolutely fantastic it is uh, my highest possible recommendation now i will add this it likely will not end up on my best of the year list because i don't think that this book will be 
amazing for everybody. There will be a lot of casual readers who will just kind of write it off. Um, there will be deep thinkers who read this book and just kind of write it off for maybe even repetitiveness. But what I enjoyed the most was watching how... E it's almost like with uh, Junji Ito's Uzumaki. How I saw spirals differently or how I started seeing them more and more every day because I read this book. With this one, it opens up the floodgates on how everybody sees you. The most striking concept in here, or the most striking section that that he that he built, is how who he is to himself is, of course, not who he is to his wife. Um, this person that he loves, he cares for, that he knows, he thinks he knows, inside and out. Uh, well, <laughs> literally. Anyways, uh, this person that he he thinks he has lived with is completely different from what he f first thought of. For what he first thought of her, and then he there's that those also those two beings him the dichotomy of him is he is the person that his wife sees and he is himself, but the realization that he might not even be himself, perfectly done, perfectly done. Um, so yeah, definitely check this one out if you if you think that concept is something because I can't harp on this enough. The concept is a metaphor throughout the entire book. Every single time he bumps into somebody or he's talking, that metaphor is there for the fact that you are someone completely different to everyone that you meet, and those people are different to, to people they meet, all of that stuff. It's fascinating. So if, that, if you think that that is a fascinating idea like I did, definitely pick up the book. So have you read One, No One, and 100,000? The, the title's a mouthful, y'all. If, you, if you've read it, please let me know whether or not you liked it or hated it down there in the doobly-doo. If you hated it, I'd love to hear why. Just as always, it's one of those times where I honestly want to know what kind of fault someone else would have with this book. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!